You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 300th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, <laughs> the Million Dollar Plumber along with my beautiful and talented co-host, the lovely Laura here. We have a fun episode planned for you tonight. I am. The 300th episode, sweetheart. 300, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, 300th episode. <laughs> Did you think back in the day when we started? When you started? When, when I started with the first episode <laughs> and you sat way on the other side of the mm -hmm. office because you thought this was stupid? No, not stupid. Dumbest idea you've ever had. That's what I said, actually. <laughs> but we're here, all right? This is the and, dumbest and we're here together. Idea. I reeled you in, baby. You I did. reeled you well, into you, my dumb idea. You have a tendency right. of doing that. Hey, we're going to have a great, uh, great time tonight. Um, we're going to, um, we always get asked, Yes. how did you start? Mm -hmm. Hey, Lance. You know, what did you do with your plumbing business? Did you even have a plumbing business? Yeah, really. <laughs> right. You're full of crap. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Million or, you dollar know, plumber. What, what are some problems <laughs> hey, you had? Josh. You know, we're, we're going we're gonna to share all that yes. in, in this episode well, along with probably all. tell you what we would have done differently too mm -hmm. sure. okay so mm -hmm. hey we're glad you're here all we right are. we're glad you're here so hey, hey if you're watching live you know what to do mm -hmm. type live in the comments if you're mm -hmm. watching the replay type replay mm -hmm. and if you're listening to the podcast you know what to do mm -hmm. just keep on, keep on listening, listening. Hey, all right so who do we have joining us everybody's tonight? everybody's checking in thanks guys caleb's checking in um i'm looking here on my phone i know i'm not supposed to do that um thanks matt carter congrats on the 300 thank you buddy yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah. We I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Um, Lance is checking in. D Dub. Um, what's Daryl saying? Um, Patrick. Hey, Patrick Basinga. Um, Daryl saying something. My contacts just aren't working tonight. Um, Daryl is saying, um, I remember when Richard was sat in front of <laughs> when we sat in front of the what? Um, and the arm wall. And they have the other right. office. Oh, my That's gosh. Right. <laughs> Golly. Hey, uh, we talk please don't go back and look at some of these old know, episodes. Kinda... They're so bad. Hey, I'll give you hope. <laughs> if that Yahoo could do this or whatever and still be hey, whatever. Hey, Sandra. Okay. <laughs> You know, any anyone can do it. Any Yahoo okay? can do it. Well, what what it speaks to is you yes. just, just got to keep going. You mm. got to keep going. You got to keep going. Okay. And the same goes up. with your plumbing business. Right. You don't give up. You mm. just keep going. You kept going even though I thought it was a dumb idea. Until right, so about what episode? What? Until what? about what episode did I finally kick in? Well, I think you just got tired of me. I mean, I was working, doing everything, <laughs> and just, uh, you know, all that. And I just, you finally got it tired. It was painful. She would sit we have, in, in our home office at the time. In our, in our, hey, we, we Alex. Had a, a, a big, big office. And I was on one end, and she was on the other, mm -hmm. okay? And she just sat on the other end, literally with a back turned toward me. I flip, you know. Earbuds in. Right. And the, whatever. But I think it was, hey, long, it was long about the, I don't know, the sixth or seventh episode where mm -hmm. you said, oh, give, just stop let that. Let me, me do it. Oh. And so that's when she started you know, producing, mm -hmm. and it started getting better from yes, there. Yes, and that's when it got good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all the McKinsey's are in the house. Hey, all the right. whole plan? Well, hey, McKinsey hey, plan. Ben. All right. Merry Christmas to you hey, guys. Yeah, we're going to have some fun here. Out in Washington. We'll clean. All right, we'll keep it clean. <laughs> all right. We always do. Even though yeah, it's called yeah. Talk. All right, this is a family show. This is a family show. Okay, a family that w about family working together, mm -hmm. Okay. Building their kingdom, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what the Million Dollar Plumber is all about. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. Building your own kingdom, okay? Hey, on that note, yes. question for you. What? Oh. What's our, what's our question for you? I don't when know. did you start your plumbing business? Okay, let's, hmm. let's put like, that up do there. Do you want year? Like the year they started? Yeah, the year you yeah. started your plumbing business. And how business. long have you been in business? Okay. How's that? Right. And your blood type. Okay, <laughs> right. Yeah, the year okay. you started and how long you've been in business. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I guess we, that I guess we could do the math ourselves. <laughs> I'm not doing math. All right. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no way. But when did you start your plumbing business? Okay. Let us know when you started. Yeah. Okay. When did we start ours, baby? I think officially, uh, yeah, 2001. Mm-hmm. 2001. 2001. It was um, March. 2001. Yes, it was. The year that mm -hmm. the, uh, the towers were. Towers, yes. Right. We had our daughter. She was um, three months old. Three months old. Three mm -hmm. months old. Yeah, little Mal. Right. Leslie Harpool, 2015. Just turned three months old. Mm -hmm. and, and we uh, had two other. Kelly two Ball, other. 2013. Uh -uh. Um, yeah, so we had the two, two, two other boys. Or right. Two boys, right? Ten and five, I think. Yep. Yeah. Um, Josh, 2018. All these baby businesses, brand yeah, new. That's good. Yeah, it's very okay. good. Okay. 
Um, Sandra, how are you? 2017. 2017. Yep. Four months, yeah. Aaron. 14 months. 14 Aaron. months. Oh, 14 months. Okay, yeah. still, but he's in yeah. the uh, Success Academy. Matthew Delney, Ma 2020. Okay. Matthew Delney, yes. Yeah, he... <laughs> he just started and he's already taken over yeah. the world. DW, 2017. Mm -hmm. Yep. 2000... All right, Johnny. Johnny hey, Gibson. welcome, Johnny. Hey, Good Johnny. to have you here. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here on this episode. Mm -hmm. 2008. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. yep. Okay, so. 2020 part time. Mm -hmm. once, oh, that's right, Michael. Going there, yes, he's right. going full time. That's right. There we Very go. Exciting. 2016 All right. for, 2016. for Danny Penn, New Era Plumbing at Dre Cut. Saw the snow out there. Oh, uh, you guys, Danny, right. get back out here. Bo was my first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Well, entrepreneurs. Yes. Love it. Steve, 2014. Hey, Steve. All right. Stella. Well, now's the Stella time. Stella Plumbing. Yep. Love the new design. Did, yes. you did he finalize that? I think so. Yeah. Think yeah. So, yeah. It was but, making the plumbing a little bolder or whatever, mm, taking uh, that. Yeah. But That's cool a very, design. very cool design. Cool yes. design. Hey, Sparky, thanks for that. Never miss an episode. Turn on your notifications right now. Facebook, somewhere on your device, there's a place that you can turn on notifications to get notified. Right. When we go live. Never want to miss an episode. There's right. always nuggets of gold. Always. Okay. All right. We're dropping nuggets of gold here. Mm -hmm. Whether we're doing it, we, sometimes we have special guests on. And, that's right. That, that's like good, last you know, time. Nuggets mm -hmm. of gold. Yep. You bet. All right. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so we started mm -hmm. March of 2001. We did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the situation, I think we just said we had a three, three month old. Mm hmm. Five, uh, year five year old and, and ten year old. And ten year old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we had the situation. We had the house. You know, mm -hmm. the secure, the secure job. I had, yeah, I had I'd, a secure job. Yeah. No, I had a secure job. You oh, were, that's you right. were home, right? Yes. Okay. I'm thinking about the other. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. I had a secure job. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, so I got, <laughs> I actually got the idea in the shower. <laughs> Baby? And, and it was part of this time of going, <laughs> yeah. Where and it was start? when I was getting ready to go to work for the other company. Mm -hmm. And you guys were late going to mm -hmm. work. I just, ha. Oh. I'm tired of making that guy money. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want my own freedom, which is why we start, you know, right. I, I want to be free. I want to create my own life. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to be told what to do and what I, I want to, I want to create my own way. Right. I have my own vision. You know, that Anybody kind of relate thing. to that? Okay? So I came out of the shower. Yeah, it was baby. I got an idea. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and I wasn't talking about just starting a plumbing company. No, you we were, were not. Franchise it. <laughs> yes, we were. I remember, I remember that. You, I remember you guys asking, "How are we going to franchise? What do you mean franchise? You don't even have huh? a truck. What are you talking about? We have no money. We have, we have no money. <laughs> we literally have no money. Mm -hmm. We look like, I mean, mm -hmm. like like most of America. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the mortgage. Normal, middle, you know, we had a decent. You know, um, middle America. You know, we had we lived in a vinyl village. Mm -hmm. You know, had the entry level home. In our minivan. And we had a minivan. Mm -hmm. You know, we had. We had a nice minivan, you know. Well, as far as minivans, uh, minivans go. go, you know, we, you know, we had the, the sport edition, mm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but oh, we always said we would not get a minivan We're until not. we had kids, and then yeah. you can't live without a you minivan. Can't, right. you if need... you've got, if you've got kids, right. you got to have a minivan. Right. So we, we, yeah, have we to... don't have to have a minivan. Right. So. No, we don't. No, we, we do don't. Not. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> go there. Okay, this is keep, a family show. Going, this is okay. Mackenzie's All right. watching. Right. Mm. So, hey, Mackenzie, it gets great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it's a season. That's right, mm -hmm. Bo. Freedom. Freedom. And that, that's, what it, that's what it's all about. Right. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it's all about for me. And to this mm -hmm. day, that's what the, the MTP brand's all the about. Is the the MTP, what? Million Dollar Plumber brand. <laughs> oh, all yeah. this is about, you know, the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, how, how do you create a plumbing business mm -hmm. um, that creates an asset that, that allows you to live the life you really want to live instead <clears> of just having to always be working in plumbing and, right. you know, systemize it, mm -hmm. all that. So anyways. So we started. So I started with that. I mm -hmm. think what one of the blessings for us mm -hmm. was we had the idea from the beginning the idea of franchise mm -hmm. so i was already oh, we already did. kind of thinking and this is the the system queen right here mm -hmm. so that i think that was something we did have going for us mm -hmm. um after you picked yourself up off the floor like <laughs> you're gonna do what what are we gonna do we you don't doing? have a truck i mean i didn't i didn't have a truck we didn't have any money mm -hmm. we, didn't, we literally didn't have any money mm -hmm. we were thousands of dollars in debt just like mm -hmm. well i mean we had credit card debt mm -hmm. you know we were living off credit cards living mm -hmm. you know Normal. Right. Like Normal we do. Class, okay. I wasn't, working, wasn't working smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. wasn't Correct. Doing we were not working smart. smart. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I did, <laughs> um, we wound up, decided to make that decision. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, it was one Saturday. I, I volunteered for a... Um, this this home not a, not a homeless shelter but it, it was, was for a, like a kids club like a kids to our club right. this um you know kids and underprivileged kids underprivileged, underprivileged right families. Yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. with our church and and 
did that for you know a Saturday, I volunteer for a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and I certainly I usually drive a certain way. Well, I felt I felt compelled to drive a different way, mm -hmm. um, and so this other way that I went, as I was turning onto the highway, I noticed this white van sitting near the highway mm. in, uh, a uh, in a um, used car a used car lot lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I went down the next exit and came back and took mm -hmm. a look at that van. That van had just been turned in literally like 10 minutes before I went by there. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes by a carpet guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, a 1989 Dodge van. <laughs> it was like the one in used in Christmas Vacation. Not, I mean, in uh, no. Home Alone. Home okay, Al Plumbing. Okay, it was that okay Plumbing. Okay, Plumbing. <laughs> okay, but I was in love. I swore I saw the... The lights from heaven go, ah, beam down, ah, you know, all that. And so I, I called Laura. Um, from a pay phone, from a, let's just know, be clear. From a, from a pay phone. We got a, there wasn't you know, such a thing as cell right, phone back we, then. And sort of, we didn't have a cell phone. <laughs> no. um, but from a pay phone. Wait, wait, was there cell phones? Or, we didn't have one. Or from the, shop, or from the office there. Yeah, whatever I call, it was, I call we, it from the we know we didn't car. have a cell phone. I, so we are, I, found, I found a van. <laughs> can, can I, and it, and it was like, it was, it was like, Twelve hundred dollars. They were going to make me a deal like, right then. Was it fifteen? I don't know. It was. Right. It was so, dirt cheap. Right. Yeah. Well, we had cheap. like fifteen hundred dollars, mm. which was our mortgage payment, <laughs> which covered our mortgage mm. payment. So our mortgage mm. at the time for that was mm. like twelve hundred bucks or something like that in that area. But whatever, I was going to use the mortgage money <laughs> to buy this cheap van. Okay. So. All right. But it was beautiful. <laughs> it, it, the back it was, was all open. I don't know well, about it was that. open. I could work with it. It didn't already have racks in it and that kind of stuff. It did have some rust at the bottom <clears> and that kind of stuff, but I thought I could paint that. I did, <clears> which I do. I wound up. So yes. I wound we, up the, we the lovely Laura <laughs> did say, okay, pull the trick. Go ahead. I mean, we did. Yeah. I mean, it was... We, I don't know if I had much of a choice, actually. Well, yeah. well I was on a, I was on a roll. Let's be clear. Right. I was on a roll. <laughs> okay. And uh, we we got the van. We did. And so mm -hmm. so there it started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey Jim. All right. Yes. So do we have a picture there, Sparky? Do we have the van. Oh, some of you may have seen this. Oh yeah, so we've, the we've van. shown it before. All right, there's the van. <laughs> okay. Baby, look how cute you are. Yeah, that's when I had my dad bod. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Right>. He did. <laughs> all right, that's for meeting all that Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Who know, who knows his Taco Bell burrito? I yeah. think some of you. He said it a million times. Yeah. What kind of burrito he gets? We'll see if anybody can remember. Okay. Yeah. Right. If you can remember, <laughs> yeah, post it or uh, in the comments there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But th this was the van. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we got some clip art. <laughs> yeah. Do you see the the logo? I mean, yeah. we literally stole that. Um, hey, Carmen. Right. Uh, we stole that from some clip art um, in uh, Microsoft Word. Yep. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got hey, a, Mikey. and it was five seven eight Ada. <laughs> when they named the plumbing company, I already came. I had that in the in the uh, in the shower too. I mm -hmm. came up with the plumbing company name. Ada uh, boy. Ada boy plumbing because <laughs> I wanted something. Even then, was thinking about the idea of, of you know I didn't realize it was really about branding and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But the idea of something other mm -hmm. than than <laughs> yeah, thanks, right. thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan, you can. You can um, borrow that whenever you want. Right, right. We know that you think it's really cool. Right. Okay. <laughs> How embarrassing. Hey, I was a branding genius. Ryan, go away. I'm Don't a branding watch this genius. Part. Okay. You know? Hey, but you got to start. You got to get enthusiasm. That's why I love right, ADW. Darryl. All right. <laughs> but what, Daryl, what else goes in that? Okay. So there you go. Yes, the Running yeah. Man logo. You yep. <laughs> okay. Hey, and that's why I love talking with the guys that are starting out. I, I appreciate the enthusiasm and being into it. I understand that. Oh. But one thing I had going for for me, we knew we were going to brand it. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the idea of franchising it, and I know, and that's what led towards. You can't call it, you know, Richard's Plumbing or right. that, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Baby so Plumbing. Up. And back when my dad was one of those original uh, hot rod guys from the fifties, mm -hmm. and he had, we had a hot rod. And I can one of my earliest memories was driving around Dayton, Ohio, like three years old to four years old, mm -hmm. and we'd go cruising in the hot rod. Okay. Okay, and um, and I remember passing, the, and it was this this gas company um, filling station that was in the Midwest <laughs> called Attaboy Gas, and they had a guy that would run, you know, in neon light, you know, wink, wink, <laughs> wink, 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 you know, and so I, I that's one of my earliest childhood memories, mm -hmm. and so th I wanted a plumbing company, I wanted to represent the idea of service mm -hmm. and getting there quickly, mm -hmm. thus, and something that also had resonated. 
with people, that, okay. you know, that meaning. So I didn't know these kinds of things about branding, but mm -hmm. I just happened that's, uh, you know, it, it, every company intuitive. starts out, has it's some kind of blessing, to you. right? right. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was one of our blessings there mm -hmm. that we got this, this, this name, Attaboy Plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we had that up there. Mm -hmm. And so I did every morning, yes. every morning I would paint down about the bottom. You can't see it. That was the morning that took my picture that mm -hmm. I already painted it. But if you look closely, you can see rust kind of where the metal's off. You got to paint down there. And about every other day, I had to paint those orange wheels. Oh, my gosh. But I, I thought those orange wheels were hot. You it totally kind of stood did. But, but every, Ryan, do you like that? <laughs> right? Huh? Huh? We know we're going to see that in one of his next designs. I yeah, just know right. it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I know it. He's going to steal it. <laughs> right. Had emotion. Yes, it had emotion. Absolutely. Right. It, it had hey, emotion. Put up, Sparky, put up Christy's comment because she is exactly right. So right. there you go. No onion, extra, extra cheese, cheese, add and sour, sour cream. cream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And that's, where all that, that's where all that came from. Body talk live. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that brings goodness. back memories. Oh, it does. It brings back memories, guys. I get oh. it. And it, and it was exciting. Mm -hmm. So we took off, you know, <laughs> in, into like, you know, we're going to take over the plumbing world. Okay. And so I did what, what, hey, John. you know, I did what we all do is, you know, I, I went in and told my, Company, I quit. <laughs> Take this job. <laughs> and, and I'm going to beat you. <laughs> and don't mind this price book that I'm putting underneath my arm. <laughs> Get out of there quick with the price book. Right? So take the price book. Take 10% off. You know, I'll show them. All right. Okay. You know, oh, and every golly. time you're at the supply house, I've been, you know, so how much do you charge for water here? How much do you charge? You know, it's like I'm, I'm doing like, you know, Intel. Undercover. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's coming to time to just buying the work because you, you mm -hmm. know, we know we got to make make mm -hmm. the mortgage, mortgage or whatever. So, okay, mm -hmm. so how much you do this water heater for? Three hundred bucks. You got it. That's right. <laughs> Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Right. So you know, I make ten bucks. <laughs> I think I make ten bucks. You know. All right. Oh, thanks for throwing the bone to us, Ryan. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Appreciate it. All right. It's fun to go look uh, go back and look. Yes. So that that's yes. how, that's how we took off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course. Mm. You know, we wanted to do so. I, I, I thought about the service. And that's Frankie says the same logo at the company in California. Oh, that's there's right. plenty of them out it's there. It's all, all over the place. And they got it from me. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> the million dollar, dollar plumber. plumber. <laughs> all right. We're not going to get to this show. Oh, it's, just, all right, it's, so fun, it's fun to remember these things, you know? Is it? <laughs> no, it's just the fact it's kind of embarrassing. It is a little embarrassing. You know, but mm, hey, we yes. stepped in the ring. That's mm. when I honestly say, the, the, look, a lot of guys talk the talk, but it takes mm. courage. So for Absolutely. those of you that, that you know, that, that have stepped, I call it stepping in the ring. Mm. I mean, it takes courage to do that, mm -hmm. to go against the grain, to step, a, you know, away from, uh, it can feel, even though you don't like it where you're at, it, it's secure. Right. I mean, Supposedly. Right. You know, you can go in, you don't have to do mm -hmm. any work, you know, they just tell you where to go. <laughs> no All champagne. right. <laughs> All right, no, no sham. Right. <laughs> and um, so, for you guys that have stepped out, you know that it takes yes takes courage to do that. You were very courageous right. to do that. And so, with three you know, kids and three kids, mm -hmm. you know. So at this time, you were out. I mean, you literally were. You know, we, you know, our big ma marketing campaign, <laughs> too big. Our big marketing campaign was mm -hmm. getting a ream of orange paper, not white paper. That's right, orange paper. Orange paper. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> no, I'm gonna do this. That's gonna <laughs> stand out. <laughs> And we got a, bought a cheap printer. We didn't have a printer. We did not. But one of those, they, you know, mm. dot matrix, some cheap printer. Okay. <laughs> no, not dot matrix. <laughs> no, but might as well have been. Piece of crud printer. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, it cost, you know, we'd print out that, you'd print mm. out, you know, some coupons or whatever. Yes. Some flyers and, or the coupons. And you'd mm. go around with the kid, you know, <clears throat> in the. When Mallory car. was napping. Right. It was nap in time. She'd be in her car seat. And I would drive around neighborhoods and put the, <laughs> put the flyers in the mail paper, the mail, um, or not the mailboxes, but the newspaper boxes. Newspaper boxes. Right. Because okay, I, <laughs> I found out it was illegal to put them in the newspaper box. Right. Or not the newspaper, or, or the mailbox, mailbox right? right? I didn't know that, but I found out that pretty <laughs> <No>. quick. <laughs> get a phone call. When you get a phone call from, from the from postmaster. The post right. <laughs> Whatever. Right. So, right. yeah. Thank so, you. yeah, we drive around and, and put those um, in the um, newspaper boxes and learn, too, I could not do it on a windy day. Right. <laughs> you look back and all the papers were everywhere. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. no, not our orange paper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no cheap white paper. No cheap white paper. No, we it went all, it's always all the way. <laughs> all right, you push it forward, right? Okay. Oh. And so another mm -hmm. thing we did 
we thought was going to bring them in. <laughs> bring them in. We got that uh, newspaper. Yes. News- Guys, this was before, really, before the internet for the most right. part. I mean, there was the internet, but not like, not like today. Right. Um, where you relied on, for one, the phone book, for sure. I mean, phone right. book was your life. Um, and then newspaper. So, yeah, right. we got um, a, a, like a business card size newspaper ad newspaper. in the local newspaper and we thought we, we were going to have to add a second telephone line because we'd be so busy we're going to be swamped <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh this is embarrassing okay. wait sparky take that picture down <laughs> come on <laughs> Please make there we that go stop. thank you man I, oh. I just actually remembered that we thought we were going to be so busy oh. we'd have to add a second phone line yeah we were going to be swamped <laughs> second phone line here we go this is it <laughs> I remember, you know, you spent all this time and, you know, we were just got so worried about and so concerned about every little thing about mm-hmm. the little ad. Yes. You know, that mm-hmm. kind of a thing. The business card size. The business card mm-hmm. size ad. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, boy. But, that, but that's how you start out. Yes. Okay. And we, we, were we were clueless. Right. Totally clueless. Right. High class ad campaigns. I'm writing yeah. all this. Don't. No, go right. Don't. Right. Newspaper. <laughs> 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 that's oh. right. Your customers only know the truth, how hard we really work. And that's why you charge what you need to charge. Right. Yes. Uh, your customers don't care. Yeah. You know, they really don't care. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if they knew, you know. Yeah. But, but that's why you know you hit on that. That's yes. what guys for those you know. That's why you need to charge what you charge. Mm. You're worth more than 125 bucks an hour, mm-hmm. or so it's costing you more than 125 well, we bucks an hour. We weren't even charging right. that. But right. Mm. In fact, at the time we weren't even charging that. Mm-hmm. Um, I won't go into yeah, that right so now. We're but not talking about that part. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yes. I remember <laughs> the yellow pages. Oh, yeah. Pitches. Can you handle this? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what I'm trying. laughs> uh, do you remember our salesman? What was his name? Was his Don. Don. I know. I know his last name, but I'm not going to say it because, well, I just. Oh, yeah. well, he was a super nice guy. This guy. But every year he would come in, and Brian, yes, he would do that. How much work, more how, work can you handle? How much handle? more work can you handle? And you know, got us moving up into the the bigger ads, and then the what they called double truck. I never understood why they called it double truck, but it was a two page. It was a two page. Two page ad, right? Both right. sides. Yes. And it's, and, mm-hmm. and whoever gets there first gets it. So the big mm-hmm. companies. It's hard for a small well, guy. You know, it's really. it is easier today. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put, you know, I don't want to talk like, you know, back in the day we had to walk to school 5 miles uphill <laughs> in snow did. and then walk home 5 miles <laughs> uphill in snow. Mm-hmm. But it it is a lot easier today. Mm-hmm. All right, it is easier. Well, from an advertising standpoint because those those phone books and I, if you're right. um, a regular follower of Potty Talk Live, we've said before the amount of money that we spent um, when we got up to the the double truck size ad in the in the large Indianapolis um, phone book, fifteen grand a month, fifteen thousand dollars a month. Dollars a month. You know how many toilet rebuilds you got to sell? Guys, just think to about break. that. And then you sign the contract for Indianapolis. You sign the contract in July. The phone book came out in November, right. and you couldn't make any changes. I mean, that was it. It was out there for a whole a whole another year. Right. Not like now, you can turn ads on and off throughout your day. And figure so, out what's working, hit the right audience, that, that exactly. kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so, but it was, you know, it was how it is. You know, mm-hmm. we had to learn to play that game. Right. And Kimberly so, just asked, um, that was the same year as 9 11, did that affect us? Um, yeah. Um, well, it's just what I'm telling you you now. Don't get caught up in all this, this stuff. It doesn't matter mm-hmm. who the president is. I know privately and, and as, we all as know citizens, we all know who the mm-hmm. real president is. And okay, we'll And we'll continue um, And we can get be. worked up about it mm-hmm. and everything that's going on. But it, mm-hmm. it really doesn't affect your business mm-hmm. if you move forward. Right. <clears throat> we, of course, I, it, I, I remember the day. Yeah. I remember the job I was on mm-hmm. But when 9-11 hit. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for a couple of weeks, kind of like what we may have felt right when COVID hap- you know, happened mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff, just, and people are just unsure what, you know, right. what's going to happen mm-hmm. here, what are we going to do? Right. Um, we, we felt that. Mm-hmm. But then it went, you yeah. know, on the service side mm-hmm. of things. Yeah. Um, it, it didn't went, affect us right. that, really that much. It was just more life was affecting us. Right. So. And when you're that slow, when you're already slow and you're not making any money, <laughs> it doesn't, you don't really, mm-hmm. you don't really, really feel it. I yeah. mean, you really don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's not enough going on to really tell. Right. And, you know, but our first year, first mm-hmm. two years, we made the mistake, <laughs> even though we wanted to go towards service, but you, you're looking for that security. So we made the, mis- the mistake that most everyone makes is that we did new construction. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, try to get to commercial accounts. You know, we had the, you know, we're doing the cleaning the grease traps at every, you know, McDonald's and mm-hmm. Dairy Wendy's. Queen and Wendy's and mm-hmm. the Walmart accounts and that, you know, that's security, oh you know, yeah. and, and working for those builders mm-hmm. because they're promising you the house and there's big paydays and, you know, the, and it's steady work. Right. You, you get up in the morning every day, you had some kind of work to do. Well, to us, but, it seemed like huge. I mean, because we got the one builder, was, they were called Cardinal. 
right. um, builders and um, I forget how many houses in the beginning that we had. Well, but it seemed huge. Right, we huge had we got like ten, 10 houses, and it was this part of town town where they were redoing um, an downtown, area, um, Indianapolis, Indianapolis <clears throat> where they were tearing down the old area, and then also all this money was being put in to rebuild, revitalize, and, re revitalize yeah. and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And so they, you know, we thought, you know, we we won the contract. <laughs> 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 what you find, you're really the sucker. Okay, suckers. You're, doing, you're working for a general contract. You're the sucker. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the guy you, you, you know you went to school with, you're the mm. sucker, right. okay? Mm. And that leads to one of the things, you know, one of the problems we, we faced early on, mm. a, a big a big issue that hit us. So we're in with this this builder, okay, mm -hmm. and doing this work, okay, and hired a couple guys. Mm -hmm. You know how he is. You hired. We got all got all this work. Well, they mm. started paying slower and slower and slower, and having more change orders and change orders and change orders. Does it sound familiar? Mm -hmm. It's a game that's played. Yep. Okay. And then we have to wait and wait for somebody to get in to do this, and we're waiting on the other contractors for whatever. Right. But yes. we have this other house for you. <clears throat> That's right. Okay. So mm -hmm. the, so they're talking. And there's more houses. Can, right. There's going to be more okay. after that. And not going to do just this. We got this other uh, development we're going to do, and mm -hmm. you're our guy. You're our guy. <laughs> you're our guy. You're our sucker. <laughs> you know. Um, and so mm -hmm. you know we had all the we had all the right permits. We we had everything. I mean everything was. Was right on. We were smart enough to do contracts. Mm -hmm. We had contracts. Every signed, time actually, signed. We actually, actually, signed. We actually had them signed. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, mm -hmm. totally legit. <laughs> all right, but finally, it, it caught up. I, I could no longer. We could no longer pay. Yeah, we got um, like seventy thousand dollars behind with the um, supply house. With the supply house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so finally because I, they weren't. They weren't. The, the contractor wasn't paying. Wasn't paying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so at that point, and blaming everybody else, I mean, he was blaming. You guys know the story, right? right? You've heard it. You've right. experienced more than and likely, drug, right? Mm -hmm. And that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, which isn't which is, isn't true. They're not. I mean, right? Most most are mm -hmm. ripping you off. Okay, yep. You're right, contractors Bill. are ripping you off. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I know they may be nice, and it's the you know someone you go to church with. But it's the nature of nature of the business. Nature of the beast. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Um, and so we finally had to, we sued. We, we did. We finally sued. We did. Okay, we well, to. we'll get them. I got the law <laughs> on my side. The law. Okay? And we know <laughs> we got the law. <laughs> they signed the contracts. They signed the contracts and all that. So we even got the big, um, the big builder um, law firm in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a big. I mean, this, wasn't, this wasn't a little. No, it wasn't a little law firm, but um, because we went to, or he was, um, one of the partners was in our Sunday school class well, at church. One of the junior, right. Right. Yeah, okay. one of the junior partners. Which got us right. in, mm -hmm. and, and they, they, they took our, our case, and they yes. happened to be very, I mean, they're, they did a lot of building and that yes. kind of, they, they mm -hmm. knew the contracts, yes. they did all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and we have a case. Hey, Jim Eichen, sir. Hey, Jim. Hey, welcome. All How right. How are you, sir? Thanks, Jim. You like the new set. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Slight um, improvement, I hope. Jim, it's our three hundredth episode. Jim was there from the very. Jim, what 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 show were you? Gosh, yeah, well, you were you were 14, one, of the, one of the early ones. And twice he's been on twice. Yeah. But yes, Jim, I can sir, okay. everyone, right. great great guy. Yep. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So we wind up we wind up suing. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ones you go to the church with are <laughs> the worst. They can't. Yes, they are. Yes, sadly. sadly. Okay. Um, and so we wound up suing, and long story short, you know, we sorry racked up about sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars worth of. Oh, I don't even know. With, with, it might as well with, have been a million. Or, okay, it was a million dollars. Well, speak of a million. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we finally decided <laughs> the best way to do this is to um, um, mediate. Mediate. Go, go, go to mediation. Right. So that's where you don't go to court and have to go through all that. It's it's a it's a cheaper way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And we said, well. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll do that. And we have contracts. And so we we're going to win. We're going right? to right. We're going to win. And we know that they'll end up paying for our attorney fees too. Right. Because we're in the right. We're in the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not how it works out. <laughs> no, okay. So we, we get there not. to the mediation. <clears throat> this was right at Christmas time. It's right at right at, yeah right mm -hmm. right at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And um, we we get there to mediation. And we're suing for like seventy thousand dollars. I mean, it was just we didn't even go. We didn't even go to what we could have. We super early. We were just trying right. to get you get know, our expenses like, paid. Like we're being nice. I was being a nice guy. <laughs> we, we just want our, just cover just our expenses. Just us. cover our expenses. Right. Okay. What you owe us. What you owe us. Right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they countersued for a million dollars for no so, reason. So let me repeat that. <laughs> we sued for seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. They at the mediation sued. For a million dollars. Right. 
So I here, still remember as we're sitting there at the table, <laughs> going, and the attorneys come in and actually look us in the <laughs> eye and me. say, um, you're suing for 70000 They're suing you for a million dollars. How much are you willing to come down on your suit? Hmm. Like, well, what? What? <laughs> what? 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 What's happening here? <laughs> All right. Well, this is how this is how mediation works, and we go back and forth until we come to an agreement. Oh, wait but, a minute! You said nothing about them suing us. Why they can't? <laughs> so what are they suing us for? It doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's with all. It doesn't matter. It literally didn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter in your state either. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's, it's how the law works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. All right. And so, so they were suing. Long story short, mm -hmm. we wound up. I remember it was just like we were in a daze. In a day, we just went back and forth mm -hmm. all day. Well, and they come. They came down to five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Something. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. still. The bottom line, how it all ended up <laughs> mm -hmm. at, after the after the day mm -hmm. was. They wound up owing us thirteen hundred dollars. Right. Now is it? Now we now we got out of the million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. That was a Christmas gift. <laughs> all right. We didn't. We, we were on, we were no longer on the hook for a million dollars. Right. But we were stuck with all of our attorney fees. But we were stuck with all of our attorney fees. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and and the debt to the Spy House. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so we but we got thirteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, for having all the contracts and then that company, all the permits and the city. We had even notes from the city that we did everything. The code, mm -hmm. everything was up, guys. It doesn't didn't matter. matter. Didn't matter. It doesn't yep, matter. Yep, they called the bluff on us. Yep. yep. Um, and that company, Cardinal Builders, ended up going out of business. Well, and then they start up again in business. That's, and they that's, started another business under another a different LLC. name. That's that's right. how that's how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And they they ran off a lot of money, so they got all that work done for, for nothing. Free. Right for free to, for thirteen hundred bucks. Right, and whatever they probably paid their attorney, mm -hmm. you know. Right, uh, well, that mm -hmm. was much as so. Uh, right, <laughs> there, there's okay. more happiness. There's more. Well, more, I want to tell the share some but, good stories later. So, but we, but we survived that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's but very it, disappointing. Hold on a second, but it was hard. Oh yeah, I mean because we were again a fairly young family. You know, we're in our thirties. Oh, um, and we already were in debt. We were in debt. We had no idea what we were doing. Right. Um, we we thought we were doing the right thing by getting a builder by having these these big um, the promise of, of big money coming in right. right? Um, and it was it was scary. It was, right. we, we were really really scared. And I not, remember and, and the emotion, the injustice. Yeah, it was Carmen. Yes, it was right. the injustice of it. The, too. the injustice, all. That's right. why I want to use these examples. We we have things that happen to us because we just did stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Some bonehead stuff, or stuff happens, trucks breaks, you know mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But I want I have this a couple examples. Injustice. The injustice stuff of business mm -hmm. that it's, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. There is no safe place, guys. <clears throat> That's why you Excuse know I, I get on. You probably hear me. I get on rants about how everybody's wearing masks and you're wearing a mask and we got we got to make it we're safe. We're being conditioned <clears throat> that that business is safe. It isn't safe. It's a no, risk. It is a risk. Business it, is it, a risk. It's a risk. Life is a risk. Mm -hmm. Business is a risk. Okay. Right. And for you taking that risk, that's why you shouldn't feel guilty for charging what you need to charge. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and getting paid and, and having and, and making a good living. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. But th these are because injustice happens. It's just how it is. And, and we learn from these things. Okay. Oh, we, we learned. Don't, we don't curl up in the fetal <laughs> position and just quit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And push on through. We learn from these things. Yes. We okay. De we definitely learned a few things. Um, I want to answer Sandra. had asked a question. Was it 15,000 when we started out for the Yellow Pages? No, we grew into that. In the beginning, we started with just a, a small. Um, yeah, it was like four hundred bucks or yeah, something like that, which was too. like a, a oh, four hundred bucks a month. Yeah, a month, and that was a, a lot, lot of money. We started, a lot. Right. We started with the small, and then went to you know like a quarter page, and then half page, and every year we got bigger. bigger. But again, we couldn't change once we made that decision in July and signed the contract. That was what we, what it was going to be for an entire year. Right. So, right. Yes. And the thing with the yellow pages is just like why it's important with, with Google for you to be up, up above, mm -hmm. okay? And it's easy for you to get up above. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of first come, first serve, who pays. It's who can play the game the yes. best, okay? Right. Yep. All right? Where the yellow pages, it was, you know, you, Rotary was in there from the beginning of time. So right. you were never going to get past Never going to get in front of them. Right. Or, or Ben Franklin ben or Franklin, whoever else. Right. AR, in our area, ARS. ARS mm -hmm. You know, the, the, big, yeah. the big national companies, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? So okay. anyway, okay. And so, the customers uh, don't look past; they don't go down to the little one. Mm, just like they don't go to page you know, two of Google. Right. They don't right? scroll right. Okay. It's mm -hmm. the same kind of a thing. Yep. So that that was that was injustice. Okay. That was hard. That was hard. Mm -hmm. Another that happened, you know, a couple years after that, and I was still in the truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. I still hadn't learned the business of plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was. That's I was, true. I was Joseph. getting educated. What? Mm -hmm. Joseph says successful people must have a high tolerance. Yes. Um, 
Yes, absolutely. Right. There, there's you no, must be resilient. There's no crying in business. There's not. Okay, mm -hmm. you got you got to keep moving forward. Mm. Um, you know, we had had another situation, an insurance suit. You know, I know that a lot of people say, well, I have insurance. And, you know, insurance, insurance and which you have to have. You, you got to have, which right. is just it's just another legalized scam, by the way. Mm -hmm. and, I'll, and I'll explain here. <laughs> and um, it was on a job. We got we got this call. It was springtime, and and um, and they had their water had um, hose picket. Hose picket had flooded their mm -hmm. you know living room and the kitchen area because it burst inside it, the uh, right. The, yeah, over and the winter frozen. Right. Boat. We had a lot of those. Right. So mm -hmm. I actually did, I did this job myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I was still in the truck, so I I. I know this job inside now, so I go out there and to repair it. To, to repair it, right? Like, oh, that's we had not been out before. Had never been out there before, mm -hmm. right? Right, and um, so I, you know, it's basically you know repairing, replacing a, a hose spigot, you know, mm -hmm. in the wall, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you clean up the mess. And I remember seeing the carpet all stained and watered, and the flooring was all you know in the bubbly. kitchen and bubbly, and mm. you know that. And it's like, uh, what they had done? They'd water the flowers, you know, so you put planting the spring flowers, and mm -hmm. out there for. You know, a couple hours spraying and doing things oh. and come in and whew, everything's a mess, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I go and do the job. The customer's happy, pay for it. I remember this job because I underpriced it because I still didn't know my honest hourly rate. <laughs> I remember doing that host picket, $230. And the reason I remember it because of the story I'm getting ready to tell you. Okay. okay? $230. Okay. $230 mm -hmm. for this job. Okay. Okay. And, um, hmm. do this host picket. Memory lane. Well, a, a few months later, we, we get this. We we get this suit from mm -hmm. from Allstate mm -hmm. that we're we're being sued mm -hmm. for twelve thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> for flooding this house for all this damage in this house and it was like what the <laughs> what we're like, no, no, well no, they're confused there, right there just must be some kind of mistake <laughs> right I just need to we just need to set them straight that's right let's okay? just give them a call. <laughs> right. They don't care. They don't care. All right. All right. Insurance is just legalized <laughs> theft. It's just a, um, insurance companies are just attorneys. Mm. Okay. And so they work deals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, those insurance companies don't go on all those trips and have all those big offices and everyone <laughs> making all those bonuses um, because, you know, Mrs. Jones is paying, you know, $25 a month in insurance. Right. right? <laughs> Okay, and the claim. Okay, mm -hmm. and so they'll go ahead and do the claim. Yes. Then what they do is, is they sue everybody they think can. Mm -hmm. they, that they think get something out they of. They get some, you know. So it's a shakedown, is mm -hmm. what it is. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, we got sued for twelve thousand dollars, and here's it, it's very, in, you know, it's unjust. It's inju Yes, yeah, injustice for okay. sure. Yes. But they don't care, mm -hmm. and you're not big enough to fight. And what and are you going to do? That's why you're they write did your it. congressman, who's a, an attorney. <laughs> And okay. that's, that's what they were banking on. We're a small company. We have no money to fight. So, I mean, anybody can sue anybody for anything. Right. Right? So, they sued us. They, they sued us. Yes. And so, <clears throat> here's where we lear learned the game of, you know, when we talk with our to clients. To negotiate. Mm -hmm. is, is negotiate. Mm -hmm. First of all, it is very scary. The first time you're sued, and I'm telling you, you have a plumbing business, you will be sued. Yep. And mm -hmm. it won't be your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, yeah. uh, he said he was on it early, and then the 200th. That's okay. right. Mm. All right. I oh, that's right. I remember oh, yeah. him being on the 200th. Yeah. Wow, Jim. That was right. 100 episodes ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, both says <clears throat> they, they don't cover you. Then they don't right. cover you. Yeah, right. then they pull your insurance. Right, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you don't turn it into your insurance. Mm -hmm. Don't turn that claim into your insurance company. Because they, they will. Because the, 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 the insurance companies negotiate. They, mm -hmm. they just put money back and forth, all mm -hmm. right, and then they drop you. Right. Okay, because yes. they know you're going to need insurance, mm -hmm. and then you're going to go to another insurance company. They're mm -hmm. going to pay more or whatever. Right, you're going to pay so more because right. now you're high risk. Right. right. Okay. So don't ever turn in any claim to insurance. <clears throat> you got to have it to say you have it to do business. Unless it's really, really huge. Scam. Right. I mean, yeah. Anyway. You blow up a house and you got to turn it in. You know right. that kind of a thing. Right. But but for these kinds of things, you mm -hmm. don't. So the right. bottom line, we wound up negotiating, and, and for that two hundred thirty dollar job, mm -hmm. which I probably really didn't make any money on it at all, mm -hmm. uh, I had the privilege of paying four thousand mm -hmm. dollars to an insurance company. That right. wasn't my fault. Because we it, could have hired an attorney and fought it and blah blah blah, but we didn't have, we didn't have that kind of money. And it, they and would, it would have cost four thousand dollars. They would have dragged it on and on and on. Right, because so. that, that's the game too. Right, attorneys aren't aren't your friends. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that come out of this. A lot of people look towards their attorney and their accountant. Right. You know, for they're not in the business to p protect you mm -mm. and to give you. It's not even no matter how nice you think they are or mm -hmm. whatever. All right, just take it from mm -hmm. a brother who's been there, done that. Okay, mm -hmm. and we just we'll say it straight. All right, attorneys on the whole are 
it's not it's there to help. Right. They're not there to help. <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right. He pulled me out. <laughs> he pulled DW, out. you catch that? She reeled me in. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so the insurance. You know, that felt, do we have a happy story? Well, I want, I want, they want to know the problems. They do? The Does anybody want to know the happy story? The, the happy story is we wind up selling our plumbing business <laughs> okay. for a lot of money, and hey, we live the life that we want to live. And even okay. after this, we did live the life. It did provide the life we wanted to live. That's true. Okay, but it, yes. I want to connect so that you realize there these things that are hitting you and are going to hit you, that, that if you just push through, first of all, you'll learn from them, mm-hmm. okay? You know, it's, yes. it's like doing the workout. You got to do the workout, okay? You got to read the playbook to kind of understand. You know, mm-hmm. you got to go through it, okay? Right. To, to really understand what is going, you know, what what's, you know, what's happening, mm-hmm. okay? And so it builds confidence, okay? Yes. And you, hey, I can survive, okay? And we All right? did. And you, and you learn really but what's going hard. on. But it so was the, hard when so, we went through it. Oh, the first time, and it's mm-hmm. always hard, by the way, because it's unfair. If you're a justice person, yeah. Any time this stuff doesn't mean that you inside you just don't want to go find out who they are and just. Mm-hmm. Get, write him a strongly worded letter and grab the cannoli on the way out <laughs> okay all right okay it doesn't mean you don't ever want to do that but what happens is you understand the game mm-hmm. okay and that's why for those of you who go through you know the academy or we, we work with you you know the honest hourly rate we talk about there's an expense line in there for mm-hmm. these kinds of things mm-hmm. all your customers pay for this right um you know for those those stores that were um rioted and you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and tore up and that kind of stuff or things that are stolen. All of us pay for these people's acts. Right. The, the stores, the, the companies don't eat that, mm-hmm. okay? They, they pass that expense on, Right. okay? And mm-hmm. so we, we, learn, we learn to do that. Make, it's part of, it's a business expense, Right. okay? Mm-hmm. But, and, and then you learn to play the game. Look, when these guys call, guys and gals, they are just mean. Mm-hmm. Don't try it. You can't say, well, I'm just, we're just a small company here. And, hey, Matt. and it, it wasn't our fault. We didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, have some mercy. <laughs> they don't care, <laughs> okay? <laughs> they mm-hmm. don't care, all mm-hmm. right? In fact, the more you talk like that, the more they know they got you. Mm-hmm. So we get to where you're just playing the game, right. you know? When they say 12000 I'll give you 10 bucks, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hang up on them. Yeah. They're going to call. It's a game. Right. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, we got okay. good at it. You got good at that. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. And finally. Yes. More happy. My low point <laughs> in Attaboy <laughs> Plumbing. Okay. I like this to share is this. a little depressing. <laughs> because gonna, you do, guys, you got to do what you got to do, and it happens. Yeah. Let me take a... <laughs> It's some, only water. We may, we should. <laughs> the point is that we made it and we didn't quit. That's Don't right. Don't quit. Jim Eichen, right. sir. That's, That's right. right. Mm-hmm. You keep moving forward for mm-hmm. freedom. Right. Okay. There's a lesson to that even today. Mm-hmm. Keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. You got to keep pushing forward freedom. because there's forces at play that want to take it away from you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So speaking on that, yes. there was a time, you know, so we were successful with our plumbing business. <laughs> You know, making mm-hmm. good money, and mm-hmm. you know, we kind of had a position, and this whole thing started. Um, I don't remember when the tea party thing went went on. Back well, in two thousand eight, right? Ish, okay, eight, eight, eight or nine. And mm-hmm. um, we were really, we were one. We were the first participants at the first tea party mm-hmm. that in was Chicago. ever held in Chicago. We, we were. were the first ones there. We were first ones standing, and then freezing we wound cold. up getting freezing, you know, freezing right. cold. And around others, and work, you know, built up in that, and mm-hmm. we wound up becoming national leaders, or where we brought it to Indiana mm-hmm. for the Tea Party. Mm-hmm. And through that whole experience, I got asked, you know, I ran for Senate, mm-hmm. United States Senate, mm-hmm. represent Indiana. <laughs> An experience, okay? <laughs> An experience okay. that's uh, a whole other show. It's a nightmare. Sometimes mm-hmm. I wake up in the middle of the night. Ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, but was traveling all over Indiana, speaking. Mm-hmm. It was I got to see behind the curtain, so I certainly have my views on things. From politics. Standpoint. From politics, right. as in there's only one party, by the way, and you're right. seeing it being played out right yes. now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so through that experience, um, I took, the, you know, a Thanks, couple Jim. things happened. All right. We uh, we took our, our, our eye off the ball. We totally the, did. Because we had a boy plumbing ball. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So for about a year and a half, it was kind of doing its own thing, which isn't good. No. Okay? And we didn't, yeah. We'd... I mean, you're systemized. But you can't totally be away. You gotta mm-hmm. still look in on that. You gotta be as I, you know, we, we talk about it. Always on the marketing, always mm-hmm. recruiting. Yes. You know, you know, there's some things you gotta be always looking at. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't for we a year didn't. and a half. Right. And I spent every dollar we had because <laughs> I wasn't gonna take. We took small donate. I mean, we grassroots donate that. But, <laughs> I was talking but about I grassroots. But oh I wouldn't gosh. go. And you know, there's. Uh, 
I just, I'll just say it. I wasn't going to be a political whore, mm-hmm. even though the party was saying that was the Republican Party. Was running, you know, mm-hmm. it was like, and even I remember talking with the other candidates, the big names, mm-hmm. um, that said, you don't spend you your, don't own spend your own money. You don't spend your own money. <laughs> what are you crazy? You spend other people's money. Right. Then, well, then you owe them. Then you're kind of beholden that's just, to that's them. Just how, that's, how, that's how you do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, that's not how we're doing it. That's not how I do it. Mm-hmm. was going to do it, right. which isn't how Trump did it, too, by the way. Mm-hmm. So I felt we spent, but I didn't have the money like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> or just smart barely. Business, right. <laughs> right. Just a little bit less. Maybe a million less. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we were really, we spent everything we had and took mm-hmm. our eye off the ball. Yes. And long story short, there, of course, we, we lost we lost the election. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's the understatement. Okay, of the um, but a good good experience. Okay, no, it wasn't. No. It was a horrible experience. It was a horrible. Experience. <laughs> it was awful. I'm glad I stood. I'm yes. glad I stood. Yes, and, and he does have a book. He did write a yeah. book during this time. Just so yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm glad I stood, and I'm glad I got to see. That's why. Is I, it on Amazon? <laughs> yeah, I think we pulled all that off. We pulled. Anyways, okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so we find ourselves as we come back into the business, mm-hmm. you know, I'm looking around and we're half the size we are mm-hmm. no money. I mean, we're literally close yeah. to being broke, mm-hmm. broke. Okay. Broke, broke, broke. And so to make, I go back in the truck. <laughs> yes. So I had do a series in, of other events as well. that right. kind of played into it, but well, yes. it, it sets a do, I mean, it's a domino effect. Yes. I mean, it's like, and then you got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You got to do what you got to do. Yes. Okay. And guys, so that means at times. Um, you got to get back in the truck, you get back in the truck. And I've been out of the truck for a few years now. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, and I'd run for the United States Senate. And, um, <laughs> and you've been in debates and been on national TV, TV national been on Fox TV, News. Fox yes. News, Glenn Beck Show. <laughs> yeah. I've been all this because I was the Tea Party candidate, mm-hmm. one of those guys. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and <laughs> so it was all over the place. <laughs> so I'm back DW. in the truck. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I'm going to take the truck. I, when I'm back in the truck. I'm mm-hmm. going to cherry pick the job. I'm going to do the job. <laughs> I'm going back in. And first, you know, I'm going to do a job that at least I could be, you know, kind of easier to do so i picked mm-hmm. a water heater mm-hmm. okay it's no brainer leaking water heater mm-hmm. so i you know i'm in the truck and i, I really I, I don't even remember how to use a pair of channel locks i think my <laughs> hands weren't working whatever so i go you know and of course i have my uniform on and, and i have the mindset i'm doing it i'm i'm proud of mm-hmm. i'm a master plumber this is my you know proud of your business i'm doing what i gotta do take care of your and family that's, that's okay it's not that business. bad Right. Right. And you do it and, you know. I'm proud of you, honey. Right. And you said, go out there. You know, come, come home with your shield or on, on it. <laughs> <laughs> After she was trying to get me off the floor, you know, I'm curled in the fetal position. You know, Not for very I gotta long. I got to go back in the truck. <laughs> get your butt out there. Right. <laughs> so we're in the truck. And so I pick, a, I pick an easy job, a water right. heater in a nice neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's even nice to help me feel good and i go up to this house and knock on the door and you know step back or whatever and this guy opens the, the door and he looked gets a surprised look and he said you're richard bainey i said yes i am he goes i voted for you <laughs> i couldn't hide. i just shrunk right there you know <laughs> I look like Richard Bainey. <laughs> right. Did I say I was Richard Bainey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So never... you go in. So I go in, and he's, he, of course, he's talking and talking politics and whatnot. I'm just, I just want to hide. <laughs> I want to hide somewhere. <laughs> and then his wife comes home, you know, from wherever she was at. Hey, sweetheart, come in. I, got, I can't believe who's here. It's Richard Bainey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on top, I'm, I'm top of the bad electric unions on top of whatever. Hey there, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> Thanks for voting for me. Right. You know, and so I couldn't get out of it quick enough. And I, I'm, I'm not sure if I cried on the way home or not. Humble after, pie. But it is. God it is, has a way sometimes of right, it's, humbling us. And not that my <laughs> ego is so high, you know, that I. You no. don't want to do that, mm-hmm. but there's just some realities <laughs> to life and to your business, okay? And and sometimes, um, you know, if you happen to be in a business, you know, season in your business and where things are happening right now, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. We came out of that situation and, you know, grew up and, you know, and mm-hmm. did, did a lot better, mm-hmm. okay? Because we knew what to do. Right. Or I was back on the, on the business and right. taking care of the business, yes. Right. You, you, do what mm-hmm. you, you do what you got to do. <laughs> you made the sale. I, yes, well, you did. I made, that's right. <laughs> Okay, no discount. 
I do remember that. It was full price. Okay. Tell him you got to help pay for the campaign. The Richard Bainey. That's right. The, yeah, <laughs> that was right. Oh, so <sighs> those are some moments in, in our in our plumbing business. Yes. That uh, the more out of those are emotional moments. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, we had many others um, that that we all experience. You know, daily sure. or weekly with things mm -hmm. happening. Um, employees, uh, you know, I, I've you've often heard me tell the story of coming in and literally like four or five of my guys are just left <laughs> on Monday morning, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Did you upsell it, PRV? <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> Stay in the lane. Stay in the lane. Oh, you're right, right, John. I know it says right. Kristen, but I believe that is John that right. comments on his wife's page. So. Yeah, those yes. were humbling experiences. Right, and, um, and they, make sure. you, they make you stronger, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. And so the, the mm -hmm. point is, if you just, just keep moving forward, you just got to keep moving forward. <laughs> All right, no, I'm his twin <laughs> brother. <laughs> Bo Baney. <laughs> Bo, Bo, <laughs> Bo Baney, Bo right. Baney, Bo, Bo Baney. <laughs> <laughs> options, did you give him options, Patrick? Winston yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Yes, I did. Absolutely. I remember it. This is just what I sell. <laughs> I've been doing this forever. It's a six-year, all right, worry-free warranty, a 10-year worry-free warranty, and our tankless. Mm -hmm. He went with the six-year worry-free warranty. There remember? you go. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. So, okay. So those are, uh, those, are the, those are some moments, all some, right? Some rough moments. Some rough moments. And 18 years of business. We right. had our, our plumbing business for 18 years. So, right. yeah, we, we, um, we kind of picked out just the, the handful, three things that – we distinctly remember that we're on, on emotion, times. More, more of emotional, right. you know, which can make it right, you know, even more so, right? Okay, and we all, we all have them. We right, it's business. Okay, <laughs> hey, I have something for you. <laughs> even if you didn't vote for me, okay, <laughs> I got something for you. All right, my free. Did anybody out there e vote for you? Okay, anybody? <laughs> all right. Seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. All right, these are seven things you got to know. All right. To be a million dollar plumber. It's all in there in my free ebook. Simply type seven in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash seven and grab your free copy today. Today. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, okay, so that was that was all our horror stories. What, yeah. Are we gonna end on a happy note? Well, what we I thought we would end on we get asked, you know, what would you do differently? Mm-hmm. You know, not that's, run for that's, United that's, States Senate. That would I would be not got one. caught up in the whole Tea Party mm -hmm. movement. That's why I tell you guys, even <laughs> through um, what's happening right now in our nation, and I think this is very important. Okay, as Americans, we do need to stand, um, and it's very important what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Okay, because um, our country is being taken over. We are at war. Okay, um, and saying that, be active and involved in that, mm -hmm. um, but. Um, don't don't take your eye off your business. Okay, keep moving forward. Okay, don't take all the energy over here. Right. Keep keep moving that forward. You mm -hmm. got you gotta you gotta do both. Okay. You do. It's true. All, all right. Mm -hmm. um, the, the big mistake that, that I made there wasn't that we that we got involved in the Tea Party movement and, and ran for office and that kind of stuff. Was that we just totally disregarded our business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not okay, wise. and weeds will grow up like that. <clears throat> yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and it breaks down, and um, uh, that wasn't a wise thing. Right. Okay, so don't make that mistake uh, that we made. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't run for United States Senate. Don't run. Right. Well. So what were you going to say? Well, what, another question we get mm -hmm. asked uh, often is, "What would you do differently?" Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what would you do differently? Mm -hmm. So you know, I thought we'd answer that question. Okay. So, right, you, let me throw. I'll kind of throw that at you. First, what would what, I have done differently? What, what would you What would you have done differently in working with our with our business? Um, what I would have done differently would be because you're a visionary, right? I mean, you definitely are a visionary. I am the exact exact opposite of a visionary, whatever that is, non visionary, you're pragmatic, pragmatic. Right. Yes, definitely pragmatic. Um, so um, it, it's very hard for me to envision something that doesn't exist, yeah. right? Where for right. you, you create, right? Um, and so my tendency in the beginning was to really hold back more. If you would come up with an idea on something or say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. My first response was always, how? How are we going to do that? Because I needed to figure out how we were going to do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, because I couldn't see it. And so I, I tended to, I, I think I held us back. Well, I think I know. I held us back more in the beginning because of fear of not knowing how it's going to work out or um, it didn't feel secure. I, I def definitely didn't like risk. Um, you've, you've trained me to be, get a little bit better about being a risk taker, mm -hmm. not tons. I'm just mm -hmm. along for the ride. 
So let's <laughs> <laughs> do whatever because I trust you. I, I, um, I like you along for the ride. Thank you. Um, but I think, yeah, I would, I would have done differently. And I've talked to a lot of our private coaching clients, um, the ladies about that. That is, if their husband is a visionary, just um, don't, um, don't poo poo his ideas or try to figure out how it's going to happen. Um, but, but go alongside and be the, the feet to his vision. Hmm. So I wish I would have done that earlier, a lot earlier than, than I did. And we are successful and have been, I can look back and, and say this honestly, and I'll, I'll talk to our other, the couples out there. Um, we are, I, I've been successful. I'll make it for, I've been successful because of Laura. Um, it, everything that worked out well was because of her. I may have had the vision for it and said to put, you know, whatever. Um, but it worked out because of Laura. Um, every time that we failed, it's because I got, I, I messed it up. You know, <laughs> you're, you know, you're taking an awful lot of, well, I, I appreciate that, but, um, we never would have done anything. It was up to me because I don't have vision. Right. So, and that, that's the power mm -hmm. we call it, you know, uh, the plumbing power couples. <laughs> and right. So as, as we even work with couples with the tension that's there, mm -hmm. it's a good tension, but you got to learn to work together right. and with that tension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it works. It can be a struggle in the beginning. Right. Cause the business needs that needs right. a vision right. and then needs someone that's saying, oh, how, how are we going to do that? Right. Are we sure, you know, we want to do it that way. Right. And, you know, I wish I would have been more encouraging as opposed to kind of dampering your vision because just because mm -hmm. I wasn't a visionary, I guess that's the best yeah. way to say yeah, it. Yeah. And we've had, right. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Sure. You know? Mm. Yeah. So what about you? You know, as I thought. Ooh, nice. Hey, baby. Sorry. All right. I want to eat. Let's Taco Bell and <laughs> work on the guns more. For <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Um, it's, um, you know, as I was thinking about that, what, what would I say? Hmm. I really, as I look back, I think I would have relaxed more. Hmm. I'd have been more, I wouldn't have held on so tightly. Hmm. Like everything's a fight. Hmm. Everything's out to get me. Mm -hmm. I gotta make it through this one, mm -hmm. and I right gotta now. spend more time, and I gotta work on this, and I'll work on that. I'll get this, and oh, oh, oh. this You're whole intense. this intense intensity. Even if I'm not, you're not doing that. I'm mm -hmm. kind of exaggerating, right? Mm -hmm. But I see that in a lot of lot of guys mm -hmm. is that it's always, 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 always. You know, you're mm -hmm. always on. You're always on. You're always pushing. Mm -hmm. Looking back now. All the pushing didn't make it work any faster. Now, I'm not saying mm -hmm. to sit back, right? It's a fine line, right? right because right. You, you do need to work on your business and you need to put a lot of time into your business and right. you do need to focus on your business. Um, but um, it doesn't have to be every second of every day um, working on the business. Right. I wouldn't have taken everything so seriously. So seriously. So seriously. Or be so when something bad happened, getting so upset. So it worked because out. Because we can look back and say, well, pretty much everything worked out. Well, yeah, you know, the, the one lawsuit. Yeah, it was, and it's just money. It's not fun, right? right. It's, it's just money. Right. That's why, you know, I, I just preach, you know, it's 1% every day. If you can just get up and just do 1% pushing forward, mm -hmm. okay? And also your daily GPS. You know, that, that really was something that, that changed things, mm -hmm. too, of just knowing, okay, where am I going? Where am right. I going? Where, where am I going? going? Where am I going? Where mm -hmm. am I going? And, um, right. you know, that kind of a thing. But mm -hmm. I, would, I would have just relaxed more, and life would have been a little easier, um, mm -hmm. Probably for uh, not only for me, but um, you know, you and the kids. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, we had a good time. We had a good life. Mm -hmm. Not not complaining. I know you, no. you know you don't complain. The kids don't complain. No. But you know, it was just to relax more. Yeah. Do you think it's age though? Do you think it's age has kind of made you say, "I wish I hadn't done that"? I mean, because back then, would would you have listened to a fifty <laughs> some year old man speak into your yeah. life at the age of what were we? You know. 30s late 30s right yeah i mean at time yeah. yeah to say just just relax you know it's going to be okay everything's going to be okay you're, you're a hard worker this isn't the time that you, you, your business is going to die you know i tell that's a, something i'll say to our clients you know mm -hmm. you didn't come this far you're not this isn't the, the point you're going to die mm -hmm. <laughs> this right. isn't where you die mm -hmm. unless you choose to right you know you want to put on the mask and call it quits then mm -hmm. this is where you die right um but it doesn't have to be that way if you just just move one step forward just right. one step just keep going just one step mm -hmm. right i mean my my ph you know because it's the, the joke of the old timer mm -hmm. you know it's watching guy you know just you know take it easy and there'll mm -hmm. be a more harmonious outcome right. you know it's just and then we've got some of these young families out there going right what? well we're in the middle of it and it's crazy and the kids and the business and we're like be all right you guys it's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay it, it really is oh, even thanks, through Patrick. this well it's not you know well this is covid and 
you know, and, you know. Employees. Employee, and, right, right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always something. It's going to be okay. It, it's always something. <laughs> just, just relax. Right. Okay. He's only 35. Right. <laughs> That's the best I've heard so far. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah, all right. I hope so. Just <laughs> relax, relax nugget. buddy. Mm-hmm. Relax, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, let's see. Let the low-hanging fruit fall off the tree and rot. You don't have to do everything. Ryan, that's, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's wisdom mm-hmm. right there. That's right. Right. That's a nugget of gold right there. Mm-hmm. You know, just it's letting that uh, that low-hanging fruit, you know, fall and mm-hmm. let it rot yep. and, and move on. So, it's you know, the, the employee that screwed you over, the, mm-hmm. the customer who screwed you over, um, the bad review. The bad review. That's mm-hmm. a big, you know. That's let a biggie now. You know, it's like, don't, yeah, don't take it home. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't try to change it. Don't right. try to say, you know. Right. Focus on the the good things that have happened. Right. And more than likely, there's more, way more good than bad. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do differently. Looking, looking back. Well, let's go back and start another plumbing business. No. no. That's why we coach. <laughs> <laughs> we get to live vicariously. It's like having grandkids. You know, we love we love kids, just not ours. No, no, no. <laughs> no we love our kids. kids. It's not right. We like our kids. Yeah, we do love it's our kids. It's the other way around. I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, Bo. Appreciate yep. that. Um. <laughs> but, but it's like the idea of just, you know, you have grandkids, you, mm-hmm. know, you get to play and get them all sugared up and then mm-hmm. you hand them over. Hand them back. <laughs> so it's the same we do with our, with our, right. our clients. You guys can do it. You can do you it. Go get the two it. trucks. Just go do it, man. Go do it. <laughs> <laughs> they're all the shaking, trying to play. <laughs> and we remember that. It's going to be you know okay, what? you guys. It'll be fine. It really is okay. And it, most of you will, will, I think, will, will say that you're mm-hmm. glad you did, that you made the step forward, you made the step forward. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean there aren't days or, or even a week where it's like, this was a Yikes. week from, I'm not sure what's Or when the phone are, is quiet. Right. It feels like, okay, what did I just do? Did right. Did I really just do that? But it doesn't, it, it mm-hmm. always happens. It's, it's yeah. always that way. It's a cycle. Right. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> well, that's our story, gang. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're sticking to it. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's so tough. tough. Not to take it personal. And hey, Allie, you're right. right. It is tough. And that's a that's a thing you got to get over. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, and it really is. And, and it's easy for us to say you just got to get over it. Um and so I'm trying to think of anything to say to help you to get over it because I remember how personal we did take cut it. Cut the crap. Right? <laughs> we do say cut Allie, the crap and all Cut the crap. <laughs> all right? Because it's crap, you know? And, and really, right. more than, if you've got customers that are giving you a bad review or, or whatever, right. more than likely you've got other Had clients. Had you done things differently then, uh, you wouldn't have been. Um, to right. be able to speak from experience. That's exactly yeah. right. Um, right. But... Focus, Alec, focus on the customers that do love you. More than yes. likely, you've got tons of other great reviews, um, customers that love you, employees that you're, you're serving well, and forget about the, the 5 10% of the crazy people that you can't please anyway. Right. So, and don't take it personal because it's not, it's not you. It's, it's not you. It's them. Right. So. Right. Yeah. That's, uh, but I remember the emotion. Right. And it's always, it's always <laughs> personal, by the way. Even up um, to the day we sold our business. It, it, what do you mean? Well, even after we sold our business, whatever was happening, the guy said something, it was personal. Hmm. You know, I felt, you felt the sting of it. Or, but, but, but not, it got better. But not in no. well, the way Thanks, that Patrick. hurt. Mm. All yeah. right? Not, not in the way that hurt at all. It, you know? No, definitely. I mean, you get we to We were able where, to let it go. Right. Right. You and know? focus on, on more the good. Right. And bad. that's one thing we, we really, our Thank hearts you, are for you, um, that, that you could do that way quicker than we did. Because mm. you're not going to change it. It isn't, it isn't going to change. Mm. It isn't, you know, so if you could get, um, you know, that's one shortcut we would love for you to be able to take mm. um, is not uh, be so wrapped up in the things and take everything personal. Right. But to enjoy the ride more mm-hmm. and just know you're not going to die. This isn't the place where you die. Mm-hmm. As long as you're moving forward, uh, movement is life. Mm. Okay. As long as you're moving, you will you will live. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and not only survive, but you keep moving. It's amazing how all those little steps add up. You'll thrive. Right. The, the sad thing is most mm-hmm. people stop moving. Thanks, they start Phoebe. hunkering down mm-hmm. and, and worrying, you know. And, and that's easy to beat. Right. That's easy to beat. Right. Right. And there's so. way more of them that do that. Yes. And give up. Yes, sadly. Yes. Okay. So don't give up. Don't give up. All yeah. right. Hey, if you, if you have a plumbing business, you are mm-hmm. sitting on a gold mine. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Um, Really, it is our heart, our hearts to. We'd like to help you know where to dig. <laughs> okay, you got to know how to dig in the right place. Okay, and and uh, we really do want to save you time and money. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the way that we can do that and help you is with our Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
in it, um, you know, we, we tell you everything what you need to do. Mm-hmm. But I think what even is more valuable is knowing what not to do, so you don't make those same mistakes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can get there quicker and and um, well, safer. Right, you know. and also we, we um, do talk we, in every uh, module. There's um, a plumbing power couple, and we talk about some of these things, things that we've yeah. gone through and lessons that we've learned all right right all right so you mm-hmm. can check it out mm-hmm. and make it easy for you to check it out all right you can check it out free free all right a free 14-day trial simply type success in the comments okay or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success mm-hmm. all right and check it out for free 300 baby 300 congratulations sweetheart. All right, baby mm-hmm. love you love you thanks for joining me Anytime, all right, all right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us too. All right, and as always, we want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and mm-hmm. you were created to do great things. Mm-hmm. All right, so go away. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.